This is One on One. Steve Adubato here in Atlantic City at the NJA 2015 convention with the convention chair, the chair of the convention committee, Susan J. Davis. Um, Susan, let me ask you, why do you think most professional educators come down to this convention year after year? Oh, to hone their craft, absolutely. Everyone knows that you must keep improving. I've taught for 43 years, I've never missed a convention. Now, hold on, I'm not letting that go. 43 years, never missed a convention. I did, I missed the one of Sandy, Hurricane Sandy. That was the one. We all missed that one. For 43 years, you kept coming back again and again. What, what kind of things did you learn? Whatever was new. I mean, their education has changed. When I started in 1972, it was very different. Even five years ago, it was very different. So there's new things to uh, learn every year. It's the only way to keep our students, our New Jersey students, uh, to the top of the nation. That's the way you do it. So um, talk about the kinds of things. Let's break it down a little bit. The kinds of things that public school educators take away from a convention like this? I think they take away information that they get from others when they sit in workshops. They sit in the best workshops that we have. Um, the staff of NJEA goes through all the proposals and they provide over 300 workshops that are here. Um, they walk away with ideas, like different approaches to actually teaching and engaging students? I think they do. I think they have a lot of uh, innovative things that they go back with and especially in technology. They have free... Why technology? Well, technology is where we're going to be going. That's just the way of the world and that's what even our kindergartners have Chromebooks. So that's the way of the world. And so we have to be able to engage that child besides a Chromebook but also face to face and make them a better person so when they get to be in high school and go beyond that, that they're a credit to New Jersey. If you could go back, now you've been in education for 43 years? Yes. If you can go back to that time, do you remember why you decided you wanted to be a teacher, an educator? I think it was because my brother had trouble in school. And I was the one at home that tutored him, and I loved it. And so I started having everybody in the neighborhood come to my house and play school. And that just developed from that. You were the teacher in the neighborhood? Yeah, I was the teacher in the neighborhood. What feeling did you get? Really warm. They, they just wanted to come. And then in high school, we also had a um, tutoring program. I live in Madison. There was a tutoring program in Morristown. I would go to the neighborhood house, and I tutored a, th a third grader for math. And that's how I chose my major. I was a math major. You love teaching? I love teaching. After all these years? After all these years. Because? because the kids are great and they deserve to have a good life. And that's why you go into public education, because everyone deserves to have a good education. No burnout for you, huh? Not yet. <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate everything, everything that you and your colleagues do every day for our kids in our public schools. I hope you can get some good action shots because we have tons of people here, thousands of people here today. Thank I promise we will. Okay, thank you so much. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, NJIT, PSENG, Virtua, MagnaCare, and by Cone Resnick. Promotional support provided by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association and by Politicker NJ. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.